We dug into concerns about teachers moving around within triad schools. We learned state requirements play a role in the process. WFMY News 2 Giselle Thomas learned a change in the number of students could result in a change in staff. It's only a surplus in the eyes of people who are giving out the money. It's not a surplus in the eyes of anyone in a school building, especially a public school building. Some educators say the first few weeks of school are crucial. You're allotted this many teachers, this many teachers per grade, whatever. You're based on your enrollment. Each district has a day where they have to report attendance numbers to the state. GCS looks at class sizes on the 20th day of the school year, with Winston-Salem, Forsyth County, and Alamance Burlington on the 10th day. Those days get picked based on consistent attendance. A former Forsyth County teacher says she's seen the results firsthand. Our sixth grade numbers weren't what they had been predicted, so we lost one of our sixth grade teaching placements. We had 90 students, sixth graders, brand new to middle school. Everything's, they're changing classes, they have multiple teachers, all these things are going on in their lives. And 10 days in we say, oh, by the way, we're changing all your classes. The change comes so the districts can balance a student to teacher ratio. Some educators argue it's funding. We as a public school system are not being funded at appropriate levels um, from the state. And so when we have these student enrollment um, issues, um, which we know we're going to have each year at some level, um, we, we're, in, we're in a tight spot now, state legislators recently passed a budget that totals nearly $13.5 billion for K-12 in public schools.